Hello, hello, hello. Okay, get it started in a second. People are joining. Just waiting for people. People are still joining. Okay, let me. So we're going to start up in a second. Hello, it's great to see everybody. Let me know. There's still more people coming, but let me know in the chat or somehow if you can hear me. Can you? Can anybody confirm or deny if they can hear me? Um, you can. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Totally appreciate it. Very helpful. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. I love the exclamation point too. All right. So let me be. So there still might be more people coming in. Um, one, two, okay, there's a couple more people in the class, but um, so, well, well, so hello. So I'm Professor Yaverbaum. Right now, this is Physics 102 Lab. Thank you so much for, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited and impressed and relieved that you're all here. I mean, I understand you got very short notice about this. Oh, more people coming in. Pardon me. Okay. Um, I um, it, it was on very short notice uh, that you were told about this, and this is a rather large change. So I very appreciate how flexible and fast you all are. I'm very glad the communication got through. Um, I also understand it's even though I think you got the email in the morning, it's very possible that some of you came all the way to John Jay and then found out that you didn't even need to be there. We'll, and we'll hear those stories today, probably. will. So I, I recognize how frustrating or uh, um, stressful that might have been. So all the more reason right now, I a, am apologizing for this change and I'm going to explain it. Um, but uh, B, I want to just thank you again. You really stepped up, all of you. Um, you've been, okay. Oh my God, right, wow. Okay, wow. Okay, so so I, I, um, that's rough. I mean, look, the, that is definitely rough. I, I do also have an 8 a.m. class, but it ain't chemistry, but um, that's rough. And my hat is off to you. And, and my hat is off to all of you for rolling with so much that you've been rolling with uh, as science majors and in COVID and all that as it is. But no, that's that's a long day. I, and I'm going to get to know you a little bit better in a few minutes, hopefully, all of you. Um, now, if you were, so at least it does relieve me slightly. If you already had to come in for chemistry, then you were there. I don't know if some of you then got to go, if you got this message on time enough for you to then go home early or, or what. But I definitely recognize that this may not be a happy change for many of you. Again, it's impressive that you caught the email and that you're here now. Um, so I'm going to give a couple more seconds for the people to come in. In fact, this may be the whole class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. That's just about everybody. That's amazing. Uh, hang on. Well, yes. Okay. So if you're just joining now, you haven't missed anything. I'm just sort of saying hello to everybody and thanking everybody for being here. Again, I, you're not late. If you just joined in now, it's amazing that you're here at all. You're not late. Even if someone still comes, there's only one more person could possibly come in. That person's not late. Um, I, but I do assume, and start me, I assume that you know about this, that you came here because of an email that you got at 11. The I mean, I, you were not warned of this on Monday, or, or were you? Or Ariana, are you, uh, you might be on mute or, oh, no. you don't think we, okay. Yeah, I don't think you were either, to be honest. And again, I apologize for that too. And I will explain, I'm not trying to defend anything. I'll explain what's going on, but yeah, I don't think you were either. Okay. So you, you all found out because of an email that you got from Blackboard at, right. You weren't, right. Okay. And I do apologize for that. Um, we're, did, I, I really do. Um, I'm going to, um, well, thank you for making it, Ariana and everybody else. In fact, let me also just begin by saying what I usually do in these situations. So again, this is Physics 20. If you're looking for Physics 102 Lab, this is it right now. You're in the right place. I am Professor Yaverbaum. Um, I'll tell you who I am more in a minute. Let me just, uh, I want to, but I want to directly say hello. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to start to get to know you guys and I'm going to try to say your names. Please do. Uh, forgive me in advance when I mispronounce your name, and please do stop me and correct me either in, with your voice 
or in the chat or in the private chat if you prefer, but I would like to not mispronounce your names, but I'm gonna take a stab right now. Um, so, so hello, Brianna, and thank you, Brianna, for answering the question. Hello, Shion. Shion. Um, hello, Camilla. Hello, Danny. Hello, Ariana. Hello, Amaya. And thank you, Shion. Thank you, Ariana. So am I saying the names right? And then also, so I just said hello first to the people that responded, but also hello, hi. Hello, how ye? Hello, Yahara. Hello, Dahami. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Vani. Hello, Enrique. Please tell me, oh, pronunciation is correct. Okay, wow, great, I'm psyched. Okay, anybody tell, tell me if it's not. Again, my name is Yaverbaum. You can imagine what people do with that name. Um, and if you're trying to pronounce it yourself, it, you could, it rhymes with cadaver town, if that helps, but okay. Um, that's a great name, thank you. You're very kind, you're very kind. I'll say one thing about my, oh, oh, okay. Let me see. Oh, 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 sorry, oh, oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. All right, so hello, Jara, uh, and hello, Vani, and hello, Jesse, and I hope I'm saying them right now. Hello, Jahim. Again, there's good, we're gonna, this is gonna be a slightly sauce, but hopefully we're gonna get to know each other today. Um, per, oh, yes, yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, I have questions, I'm sure you have questions for me, I have questions for you. Let, um, and we are gonna do some physics today, but we're also gonna try to sort of address a larger situation. Oh, it's still on campus. Oh, oh, okay. You're still in campus. The internet connection isn't great. Okay. Um, I Yes, that is true, especially for students. That is true. Well, we'll do our best here. Uh, let me also say, believe me, you, if you're worried about getting educated, you come to the right place. We're going to educate you. Okay. We're going to, you're going to get your tuition dollars worth. Well, I mean, um, uh, worth, I hope. You're currently on your way home. Okay. Um, but if you're worried about you doing the wrong thing, any one of you, don't worry. You, you're already very much doing the right thing by being here. And if you have to come and go, or if, if, some, if one of you is commuting right now or whatever, or the internet connection goes out, don't stress it. We understand, I understand. Um, and it's a long period class. So even if, so I understand, okay? And as far as whatever material we're gonna get to today, I'm gonna explain where you're gonna find it and all that kind of stuff. And um, it'll be understood if, It'll all be understood. Um, oh, really? Wait, that's great. I don't know why, but that's great. Okay, maybe that means Monday went really well. I want to hear about Monday in a minute. Um, let me back up though and say what's going on, like why we're here online and why we're putting you through this. Um, so, I'm Professor Yaverbaum. I mean Dan Yaverbaum. I'm the. I'm. I'm not actually on your schedule as the instructor for this course right now. I have taught this course forever. Right now, I'm not actually the instructor for this course. We'll get to that in a second. What I am is the coordinator for the whole physics program, okay? I mean, so I coordinate physics 101, physics 102, physics 203, physics 204. And I, and I, I generally teach a lot too. I, for what it's worth, I've been doing that. I've been at John Jay coordinating physics and teaching physics since 2011. Um, for what it's worth, also, I've been teaching physics of this kind, just in general, at various places. I've been teaching physics since 1992. This will be my 30th year teaching physics, um, I'm proud to say, I'm, and I'm definitely excited to say. I love teaching physics. I love physics, and I've spent, oh, thank you very much. That's so nice. That is so nice. Um, and I'm not saying that, okay, here's the thing. I want to say, I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just, no, I'm totally saying that to brag. I, I mean, I do a lot of things wrong in my life, but I've been doing physics for a long time and I am sort of proud of that fact. Um, yeah, you know, thank you, Vani, for, <laughs> it's funny. Thank you, Vani, for pointing that out. Uh, that is true, I know. And I, you, when that first started happening, that was a weird thing in my life. Um, you know, in fact, when COVID started, I started saying to people, and I'll say, I mean, again, this is sort of a braggy thing, but it's sort of a very just real straightforward thing. Here's the deal, right? On the one hand, it is true. I have been thinking about physics and how to teach physics for longer than many of you have been thinking at all or thinking about anything. Um, yeah, okay, well, thank you, right. And I am, and look again, I'm just amazed that I've stuck around this long doing it and that I keep coming back for more. I have spent more time thinking about physics than some of you who have been alive. On the other hand, 
Why am I really bringing that up besides to brag? Well, I'm bringing it up for three reasons. One, to say, I still love it, okay? I just wanna point that out. You can tell I'm a jittery, spazzy, kind of high energy, nervous guy because I still care because it still makes me nervous and excited to talk about physics, whether it's on Zoom or in person or whatever, whatever, I still get very jazzed and very excited thinking about physics, thinking about teaching physics, talking about physics, dealing with physics with students. It still blows my mind and it's still fresh and weird and different and anxiety provoking every day. That tells you something. Okay, I mean, there are jobs out there and things that you can do that are just forever interesting. I think physics is one of them. And the, I mean, for me, right? That's one reason I'm telling you. And what I hope to do, what we hope to do in general in the physics program at John Jay, what we hope to do is try to at least share our excitement of physics with you to the point of getting you to find it a little bit exciting. We don't expect that that means that you necessarily want to spend the rest of your life doing physics. Many of you are trying to go to medical school, many of you are pharmacology school, or many of you are trying to, I mean, and we'll find out by the way, and physics 102 is always an interesting mix, but most of you are trying to go into science in one way or another, most of you. And what we just want to say is it, science doesn't always have to be a grind. And, you, and if you had a passion for science that led you to enroll in these difficult, difficult programs at John Jay in the first place, and they are difficult, and my hat is off to you for suffering through them. But if you had liked it enough to deal with this hard stuff, we just want to be here to tell you, like, good choice. And you know what? It can continue to be that enjoyable, and it really can be worth it, and it really can pay off. Um, and for many of us, it does. So... And, and physics is underlying, like in the way of doing physics underlies the way of doing science, whichever science branch you go down. So part of our big goal in this course, honestly, actually, is to keep some of the flames of science love burning before they get beaten out of you by all the work and the stress that you have to put up with to be a scientist, okay? It does, there should be a payoff. And we like to think that some, some of the payoff, hopefully to some of us, comes through some of the physics classes, depending, okay? That, that's number one, why I'm telling you that. Number two, why I'm telling you that I've been teaching for a long time is, even though it's true, yes, I've been teaching this longer than some of you have been alive. And yes, when that first started happening, it kind of freaked me out. But on the other hand, I've been teaching on Zoom and in COVID, I've been teaching in a COVID world for exactly as long as you've been learning in a COVID world. Okay. And I also have two kids, two sons who are learning in a COVID world and watching them struggle and watching how awful and unfair, not fair. I mean, there's no fair, in it, but like, really, it's painful for me to see how hard school has become for both of my sons and their very different age. And then one of them is seven years old. He's like in first grade. It's a nightmare. And the other one's 18, like, like last year of high school nightmare. I, my again, I want to. So I'm saying, I, I, you have exactly as much experience trying to learn in COVID as I have experience trying to teach in COVID. And the first thing I've learned about teaching and learning in COVID is that it's impossible without some kind of flexibility. But yeah, no, right. Wait, I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. School was already hard if you were a science major. Already before COVID, any one of you who's in the John Jay Science Program, any science program, whether it's whether you're in, um, and we'll find out. I do want to find out, but if you're in the CMB major or your forensic science major or your tox major, oh my God, is your life challenging already? And oh my God, am I impressed with every one of you for getting into this program, for moving along through this program, for getting to the point where in your physics, and for when you finish the program, it is hard. COVID, oh my God. Like, it's very hard, very hard. It's kind of hard to be me, but it's a lot harder to be you. And I know that. Um, yeah, sorry. So I don't mean to, okay. So I don't want to overdwell on it, but I do want you to say that what we hope that you will, we're going to need some flexibility and some adaptability and some patience from you in all of these changes and things that keep happening. But we want you to know from the get-go, we will extend you that same flexibility and understanding and patience and recognition that all of you 
are experiencing and undergoing different challenges right now in your personal lives, in your family lives, in your job lives, in your science academic lives, each one of you is experiencing huge obstacles that don't have to be directly COVID for me to know that indirectly they're there and they're real. Okay, so as things come up in this course, again, and, and again, I'm going to back up. I'm going to find out more about who you are. I'm going to tell you about, you know, things that we're going to do. I want to hear what happened Monday. But I, I just want to start off by saying that already you had to deal with a sudden change today that you weren't expecting. You already all dealt with it very, very elegantly, gracefully, strongly. I noticed that. I appreciate that. I'm telling you that not just as your lab instructor, but as the coordinator of the whole physics program, I'm telling you that. And I'm saying when we get close to an exam or something like that, if one of you has an issue in your, right, well, good. I know I'm, I'm looking in the chat. I, I like your attitude, right? It, it's clearly, and I, again, I don't want to overdraw it. Those of you who are trying to keep a positive attitude, I good. And you're right to do so. I'm not trying to sit here and like whip up the complaints. I'm just trying to praise you for the fact that you must have had a positive attitude even to get here at all. Um, Right. And before we go any further, what I'm trying to say, I, and I will be concrete, I'm just not going to just babble at you for like two and a half hours. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. No, that's oh, okay. So Ariana's question. All right, let me get straight to it. So look, will lab be taking place in Zoom from now on? The answer is, should be no, and I believe is no. Okay, let me back. In principle, this is a temporary thing. Okay, right. Okay. In your lab is supposed to be for real in person. It's supposed to be in room 0365, our physics lab. That's what it's scheduled for. And your lab instructor is not supposed to be me. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I'm in charge again. And in fact, I'm going to give you my phone number in a second. If anything comes up, if there are any issues, um, you, 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 know, you always go to your lab instructor first or your instructors. But then if there are any bigger issues, you're going to come to me um, politely and with a positive attitude and all that. But your lab is supposed to be in the lab room for real with a different lab instructor. And this situation right now supposedly is just is for these two weeks. So, and I'm gonna put this in the chat and stuff like that. But right, we've, we've, so we had a lot of sudden instructor changes right in the last two weeks that are all either directly or indirectly related to COVID. Like we've got two instructors who are caught in other countries right now. What, both suffered a family emergency. One of them is, is dealing with a family death and can't be back for two weeks. The other is trying to come back from China and can't get out of China right now. So supposedly, so, so then we hired someone else. So like we've, there's been all this instructor scramble that's happening. And I'm, I'm not saying that to defend us, I'm just saying to explain it to you. Um, um, and the other reason I'm saying that I've been doing this for a long time and that I've been here from 2011 is I also want, I don't want to give you any more anxiety or any wondering like what's going on with this course and what, what are they doing? I want you to know we're at, we had some sudden changes, some people caught in other countries, some weirdness. We want this course to be real. We don't, I mean, excuse me. We want this course to be in person in the lab. We. We shifted things around so that you have a, a great lab instructor who will do with you in the lab, but we've got to get a bunch of paperwork through, like he's not technically allowed to come into the building and do it until a bunch of paperwork comes through, blah, 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 blah. So supposedly that will all go through within the next couple of weeks, and then he will be on board and be your lab instructor, and I'll still be in the background to make sure everything's okay with any of you, blah, 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 but, and I'll put this in the chat again, but supposedly, if everything goes according to plan, you're going to be on Zoom today with me like this. It's distinctly possible that you'll be in Zoom again next week. And, that, and that's the worst case scenario probably. And then it'll be it. And you'll be back in the lab room with him. It's possible this will get straightened out before next week too. It's possible this is the last time you'll see me. Um, again, I'll try to publicize all this information. But I'm going to stop right there just to say, is this clear so far what I'm saying? I mean, is it, what I'm trying to say is, be on the alert and be prepared to come back to this Zoom channel, this Zoom channel next week. But then that should be it. Uh, so that's a yes. Thank you so much, Crystal. Okay, cool. Huh. Huh. Okay, Crystal. Thank you, Vani. Th well, thank you for what you said, Ariana. That's sweet. Thank you, Vani. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you. How ye? Oh, wait, wait. That's a good question. Uh, how ye? If I'm and I hope I'm saying it right. 
once I stop babbling, we are going to do an activity. We are going to do a, a, a we're going to do an activity today online, like in breakout rooms. We're not going to, and, and it is an activity that we usually do on the first day of lab in this course. Okay. But it's not the actual, the first actual real sort of measuring lab where you actually do a bunch of quantitative lab stuff. We are going to hold that off till next week. We often do anyway. Okay, so we're not losing any time in the curriculum, to, to, to be clear. We're going to do an activity first that we often do do as a warm-up, welcome, introductory activity. That's what we will do online today. We're not going to take measurements or anything like that. Um, if, in the worst case scenario, we're still online next week, then we're going to do oh, oh, the first online lab that we were doing for the past semesters during COVID. I mean, please also, all of you remember, we revamped all of our lab curriculum and everything and made them all doable and simulatable and everything online for the last three semesters. So we've got stuff ready to go for you either way. Okay, we don't, no one has to reinvent the wheel here or whatever, but there's just this minor hiccup where, where right now you're with me online. So we're in a few moments when I shut up, we're gonna do an activity. It won't be hard, but it will be instructive. Um, and we're gonna talk about that activity and that will carry uh, and we'll get you rolling with the material. And then the first actual measurement quantitative lab will really be next week, not this week. I don't know if that, did that answer your question, how ye? Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, so let me just write in the chat. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. I totally appreciate how clear you're being. Okay. And you'll, okay, cool. Um, okay. I'm going to pause for a second to give, oh, thank you. Okay. I'm going to pause for a second. Now, again, we're going to get rolling, but I do, I'm going to give you some information in the chat just in case. Um, Okay, so before we get, so just in case any, if, for example, again, say next week, say it starts to come to Wednesday morning and you're still like, wait, are, what happened? Are we online today? Are we in the lab? What's going on? You can just, you literally, I invite you to use my cell number, text me, just say who you are, just say, you know, I'm Ariana or whatever. I'm Camilla. I'm in Physics 102. Do, are we online or in lab today? You can just text me that question and I'll get back to you a lot faster than than email and especially if it's a direct if i can just be like yes or no if i you know it'll save you a lot of heartache and a lot of hassle and me too so please feel free or 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 later in the semester once we're rolling again if there's confusion for whatever reason uh, you know obviously you always go to your lab instructor first and then you go to your lecture instructor, but if there's an issue or something you can you can tell you now i know who you are you know why i'm you can you know, you can, uh, you can text me and I, and as long as you tell me who you are, I'll, I'll answer one rule of thumb I use for texting. And I really do pr prefer it sometimes. It's just a lot less stressful for both you and me. Just the rule of thumb for texting is my answer to, for me to answer should not take more time than for you to ask the question. If you know what I'm saying, right? So like, don't just text, like what don't text, teach me physics, you know, and then expect me to like, you know what I'm saying, right? Just, if you could ask me a direct, clear question where I can go like yes or no, or it's in room blah, then let's use texting for that. Okay, so that's that. Let me also give you, um, um, let me also give you, right now, let me set, I feel like there was one other important question, but, uh, okay.
So I'm just trying to be clear in the, since I know the connections are going in and out and just saying in the chat, unless you're told it is possible, you'll be told otherwise, but unless or until you're told otherwise, assume we'll meet here again at this Zoom next Wednesday. And that should be the last time that that would happen. Again, maybe it won't, but just assume that unless otherwise. Um, and what was the last thing about that? Okay, and what I want to set up now, I'm good. I, in physics in general, we often, a lot of us don't really rely so much on Blackboard. We use Google Classroom for good or for bad. I don't mean to put one more complex in your life, but we have found in physics that Google Classroom really is a lot for a lot of people and a lot of students, it's worth having one more extra thing in their life because it really is a lot more straightforward and seamless. Some of you are used to it from high school, some are not, but uh, but it is a Google thing. So you know you can get an app for it on your phone and then it's a much easier way for us to do assignments, even exams, communication. So we use Google Classroom. Um, I'm, in a, I've set one up for this uh, lab. Um, the other thing about Google Classroom is it makes it easy for all the professors to be on the same, like in just in case you guys have professor changes or what's, you know, since you do, since it's sort of me right now, and then Professor Lorwin will be coming in in a couple of weeks, and then you've got Professor Lou for your lecture, which I want to hear about in a moment. Since, you know, there's a lot of moving parts and we want to keep things as clear and centralized for you as possible. All of those parts will be part of this Google Classroom. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you right now to and right now it's just me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a join link right now. I'm gonna ask you to join the Google Classroom in real time right now. If you've never used Google Classroom before, I mean just on your computer, just type in classroom. Well, no, it's a link. I'm gonna give you a link. So you'll just go there and then it'll ask you to join the class. And I'm saying yes, please do. And again, we're gonna do it right now. So you have time um, and we're gonna make sure it works for everybody right now. One thing is it'll ask you for an email address to join with. That does not have to be your John Jay address. It can be whatever address you prefer to check the most easily and frequently. It, it, it doesn't have to be Gmail either. It's whatever, you, I mean, Gmail is good but it doesn't have to be anything. However, please use an email address that very clearly has your name in it. Like it doesn't, you know what I'm, I mean? Because this email address is going to be your identifier in the classroom. It's how at least I do grades and everything like that. And I think it's how Professor Lorwin is going to do grades and everything. So please make sure that your email address is clearly you. So I'm going to give you that link right now. We're going to, and then, and then even for no other reason, once you join this thing, you'll see documents, you'll see some documents there. You'll be able to scroll around and get used to how it works if you've never used it before. And one of the documents in there is the activity that we're all gonna do today right now. So this is just sort of a way, so we're all gonna, we're all in this together. Um, I'm gonna ask you to join right now. So here's the link. Uh, hold on. Yes. Okay. Oh, I should, I would say that again. Yeah, I'll pause for a
wow, oh, this is amazing. I see, guys, great. I, I thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Hao Yi. Thank you, Camilla. Thank you, Jara. Thank you, Shion. I think, did I say it right? I think he said I did. Uh, thank you, Dahami. Awesome. I'm going to give him a, just, uh, and those of you who did, whose names I just called and who successfully joined, scroll around. Again, whether you've done, I don't know if this means you've done it before or not, but scroll around and look, you'll see some material. And of course, there's going to be much more material to come, but you'll see some um, specifically under class work. You'll see some documents. Um, and one of them is what we're about to go to right now. Uh, but also to all, so I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes for everybody to join. Let me say to all of you, once you successfully join, I rec if, if you've never done this before or used this before, I do recommend getting the app for your phone. I mean, it's I do whatever you want, but I use it. I mean, it, it, it I just find it much easier to use in Blackboard for what it's worth. So, um, you know, or just be aware that there's an app that you can get. Uh, um, and then you can fiddle with the notifications or whatever. But um, so I'm just going to give it more time for everybody to join. And Oh, it looks like every, wow, you guys are fast. That's awesome. So I've got Jesse. Amon, well, actually, let me count first. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12. So almost everybody. Almost everybody. But Oh, that is everybody. Wow, right. So thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Amaya. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Hao Yi. Thank you, Camilla. Thank you, Enrique. Thank you, Jara. Thank you, Jaheem. Thank you, Vani. Thank you, Shion. Thank you, Dahami. Thank you, Ariana. Awesome. I think that's everybody. Okay, that's great. Now, there are some documents in here, as you see. I mean, I, I could show you I should share screen. I might share screen in a minute, but you know, it looks different on my side from yours. But hopefully, you see. If you go to classwork, you see, you know, different menu, different categories like Zoom links, and you see the Zoom link there. Then you see YouTube classes. We'll talk about that. But we do. I do everything. I do uh, everything that I do online or remote. I then post on YouTube to um, for the students so that you, if you missed anything, you could get it. Well, and you're welcome. Well, I will say this right now. If you go, I mean, if you go to that YouTube channel, you'll see different playlists for all the past classes. And you'll see a playlist for like JJP 102, uh, fall 22, like FA 22, fall of 2022. I want to tell you right now, you are welcome to use that as a resource. Like as this class progresses, as we get more and more into the material, both your lecture professor and your lab professor, if ever things start, if you missed something or something, you're there, but it's just like, you're confused by the way it was being explained or you don't like the way it was being explained or whatever, you're certainly welcome to go check out the lecture from that material from last semester. Uh, it, you know, when, when I, like I, I did the lectures last semester. So you're, if it just, you're welcome to go check out how we did it last semester. And then maybe that different explanation might just work better for you. Of course, you're also at all times, welcome to check out Khan Academy, three brown, one blue, whatever resources you use on the web, like whatever it takes for you to straighten out things that, uh, that are, you know, we're saying in a way that's confusing or not clear. You should use whatever resources, of course, at all times. That's not cheating, that's help. Um, but we just want you to know that of all the resources that you have on the web to try to clarify material, one is directly from us. And that's this YouTube channel where you just see the past versions of how we do things. Okay, that's whatever it is. Now under homework, I mean, you'll see a category homework, simple harmonic oscillation, and you'll see a sheet under there, homework one. And, and indeed, this is homework for lab. We'll talk about all how all that works. But um, there's a homework sheet there that we are going to do together. It's really the activity that we're going to do together today. We're going to click on it momentarily. We're going to do it today. And then you're going to turn it in and you're going to get points for it. Um, and, and you're going to get all the points because you're going to do it all today together. And we're going to do it right. Um, and then you're going to turn it in and um, and uh, 
and, and that will be good. Um, but before we go any further, before we do that, just to make sure, again, some of you have used Google Classroom before, some of you haven't, just to make, and I see that you're all here now, so that's good, but just to make sure that this interface works in both directions for us, that we're clear and comfortable with it, since you may have to turn in, well, just to make sure, I'm going to ask you right now, uh, if you see under, you see a section that's called homework game, winning points via class participation. Okay, now that's a thing that I do in all my remote classes, all my online classes. Um, it's actually a very big thing that I make a very big deal of. As you know, I probably won't remain your permanent professor here. I can't guarantee that that's gonna be a big, big deal for either of your other two professors, but it's a big deal for me. And, it, and there's no reason not to at least set that precedent right now, um, at least for the next two weeks to get you some points. So on also to, 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 to test that we're communicating through Google Classroom. So I'm gonna ask you right now on your side to open, and I'll open it to you to show you, open where it says a game turn one. I'm gonna do that as well on my side and I'm gonna uh, screen share, but I'm asking you to open the following, yeah, okay. So you, you see where, so I've just opened to this, a game, turn one, please on your side, open that assignment. And obviously you can read it yourself, but uh, um, what, it, uh, what it's about, again, it's largely useful for these sort of awkward, challenging Zoom classes, but what it's asking you to do, what I ask my class, all my classes to do once per class, I ask everybody to take a, a minute or two. I mean, usually I ask them to do this at night when the class is over. I ask them to do it before midnight, but I ask you to take one or two minutes to just recall or reflect on any moment, any possible way that you had participated in the class. That and in that, and I'm going to ask us all to do this right now because actually all of you already have. This could be as simple as you said hello in the chat. It could be as simple as you, in the chat, you told me, uh, yes, we didn't find that email until today. It could be as simple as, I mean, there are other things when I asked in the chat, like when at some point I said in the chat, can you hear me? And some of you wrote in the chat, yes. It could be that simple. And certainly some of you did use your voice, you know, it could be when you used your voice to say something. It could be some heavy duty physics point. Oh, and one of you had asked, are we doing the lab today? Totally reasonable. Any little thing that you did at all to be alive and alert and to, help me get to know you, I want you to take a, sent, a second to just type out a sentence reminding me of that. You're like, so literally right now, and this is also just practice using Google Classroom. So on your side right now, where it says a game turn one, I want you to actually, it gives you an option. It gives you a plus sign somewhere, I think. You can see my application. Oh, yeah, it gives you a plus sign or something. Or it gives you an opportunity somewhere on your side to open a blank Google Doc or open a new Google Doc or something, I want you to actually do that. And in the new Google Doc, just type out one sentence that says something like, I said hi in the chat. I mean, something honest, right? Um, if you want to screenshot the chat, you're certainly welcome to, but you and people do that a lot. But I'm not at demanding that you prove this. I'm just asking that you remind me, just say something like, I said hello in the chat, and then submit that as an assignment right now. Again, we're partly doing this to make sure that it's all working for you and that you get how to submit an assignment. And I'm going to mark it like in a sense right now or in 10 minutes, and I'm going to give it right back to you with points, just so that we know we've got our system in place. And then when it comes to bigger things, like whether they're lab reports or exams or something that you have to turn in, you know, there won't be, then we'll know we're good to go and there's no anxiety there. Um, so right now, please, if you don't mind, Oh, and, oh, and by the way, if you haven't said anything at all in the class yet, which I don't even think is true of any of you, but if you haven't said anything, just right now, just type in the chat, just say like, hi, my name is, or, or just say, you are pronouncing my name correctly, or just something in the chat. And then, and then reflect on that right here in this assignment, and please do this assignment right now. Again, one sentence is fine. And you don't have to write your name or anything like that, because, you know, the Google Classroom will make it clear to me who you are and all. And you don't have to have a clever file name or anything, but just if you could please do this right now, that would be 
really helpful and I can follow and I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Or, and in, if, if I'm not making sense or you don't see what I'm saying, please tell me in the chat, but I'm going to wait right now, like in real time, I'm asking you to do this and I'm going to just like we saw who joined a second ago, I'm going to just make sure that everybody can successfully do this now before we go any further. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, this is awesome. Right. So, so five of you have already turned it in. Thank you so much. That's great. Um, and I'm going to, and you should get a response from me. So, so while you're turning it in, I'm going to turn it back to you. Those of you who have already turned it in and thank you. That was already five of you. You can start opening up that sheet that says, um, unthingy things. It's homework one unthingy things. You can open up that now and start looking at through Cause that's the thing it's, it might strike you as silly or weird. It, maybe it is. It might even strike you as tricky. It's not meant to be a trick. It's meant to be an exploratory activity. So you can open up that now and start looking at it if you want. Um, and you can even start doing it if you want. Those of you who've turned this in. But in the meantime, I'm going to wait till everybody turns this in and I'm going to um, turn it back right now too. Uh, excuse me, Professor. I have a quick question. Yes. For the on thingy things, there's supposed to be a document attached there. Oh, thank you. Oh, when I see the tattoo, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're absolutely right. That's a mistake. Thank you. See, I'm glad we're here together. I'll fix that right now. And thank you, Brianna. I see that Brianna said that too. And thank you, Shion. I'm sorry I missed that. I was and thank you, How Yi. I didn't see your chat because I was, but thank you, all four of you. All right. My bad. Thank you. I'll fix that right now. Hold on. So that's why I'm glad we're here together. Hold on. Huh. You're right. That is bizarre. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, it's coming. Okay. Uh, hold on, okay, pardon me, it is coming, I promise.
Okay. I don't know why it's taking so long. Bear with me, for, we're almost there. Okay, you should see it now. Let me know. It should be there now. If you hit refresh, it should be there now. And thank you again. Sorry about that. But let me know if you see it now. Yes, it's there, Professor. Right. All right. Thank you very much. And sorry, but thank you. All right. So, okay. So actually, okay, so so let me just see where we at with the um great. Okay, so with the game, I see that 11. I, well, with the game turn, 11 of you have turned it in. Thank you so much. Um Oh, all, oh, all of you have turned it in. Fantastic. Wait, oh, yes, all of you have turned it in. Great. So in fact, in a minute when we shift gears and we go, we're going to go into breakout rooms and work on this other sheet, but I will be turning that back to you. You, you remind me when we come out of the breakout rooms, it, you should have all gotten back this little thing that you just gave me. It's little, but it's again, it's partly a test to make sure we're all on the same page. It's partly to get things rolling. Um, so you, you make sure to tell me whether you got it back from me by the time we're out of the breakout rooms. Um, and then we know we're rolling. Um, so we're going to go in breakout rooms in a second to do this, this weird cheat called unthingy things. Um, uh, we're going to go in the breakout rooms to do this cheat called unthingy things. I'll give you a brief overview of it. Um, I don't, it, again, it may seem like a silly activity or strange, or it may seem confusing. Don't overthink it. Don't over worry about why we would ask you to do this. We will explain when we're done, when we get through it, we'll explain what the point of it was. Um, it, but it is not meant to be stressful and it's not meant to be a trick. It, um, so basically on the sheet, we ask you to do five different things. Um, we ask you to try to to pick a couple of objects off your desk and then try to arrange them in sort of five similar but different ways. We're telling you in advance some of the tasks of those five, some of the tasks that we ask you to do are very, very possible, so possible that they're really easy. You could do it in one second and we might ask you to demonstrate how you did them, but then some of them are really hard, possibly impossible. Um, don't overthink them. Your main, if you think if you think one of the tasks is impossible, don't try to think of some super clever creative way where maybe you could make it possible. If it seems straightforwardly not, if it seems pretty manifestly not straightforward like the others, then call it impossible and move on. Your job is to decide of the five which are possible, which are impossible. And there are sort of our correct answers, but that's what we're going to find out. So some really are possible. Some are impossible. That's your main job in groups to figure out of the five. And that's what we're going to discuss. Then after that, there's a few questions about space, about time, about particles. We're asking you to give us your thoughts on that, maybe based on what you just tried, maybe not. Don't overthink that either. There might be correct and incorrect answers to those questions, but you're certainly not going to be like losing anything in your grade or any points, even if you happen to say something that's ultimately not correct. It's an exploration. I promise you, you it's about doing this the most honestly and clearly that you can. So again, in a moment, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and ask you to work together. I will ask you each to fill out your own, you know, sheet and you're going to turn it in for your own points. So let me take a moment to be clear on that. One of the reasons we just had you do the other Google Classroom thing is just to get into the habit. When I ask you to do that sheet and turn it in, the unthinking things, please don't, well, what I mean is, again, open up a fresh Google document. Um, and write out your answers there. Yes, please make it clear to us what question you're on when. You can you know, number the questions, you can summarize the question quickly and then write out your answer, but give us a fresh sheet with your answers on it. 
Um, or you could scrawl things out with pen and paper and then you know, scan in and, and give PDF, whatever's easier for you. But don't try to write your answers or type your answers directly onto the sheet. It becomes too difficult. Um, so that's what we're going to do in a moment. You're going to go to the groups. You're going to you're going to try to work out this sheet. Um, you it, while you're waiting for me, if you really think you've gone through all the answers, you can feel free to turn it in. If you have all the questions answered, it doesn't matter if they're wrong. Don't stress about that. So you can feel free to turn it in and then we're going to come back and discuss um, and it won't take us too long. However, so that, well, first of all, is that, can I just get thumbs up or electronic signals of, is it clear more or less what we're, oh, thank you, Shion. Thank you, Jara. Thank you, Ariana. Oh, I like that one. Okay, cool. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh, Crystal, I like it. Thank you, Enrique. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, so we're clear. So that is what we're about to do in a moment. But there's one thing I'm afraid I'm going to forget to do before we do that. So there's, I don't mean to hold you any further, and I know we want to get working. But there's one thing I, yeah, I want to just hear. You did meet Monday with Professor Liu for 102 lecture. Is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. awesome, awesome. And it was in person and it was in the, was it in the lab room? In the lab, great, great, okay, fantastic. So that's really terrific. Uh, that's supposed to, that should not change. Professor Liu is like our one stable element in the department right now, for real. She's like our most stable element. That shouldn't change, that room should not change. And that's the same room that you'll eventually be in for the lab piece. Um, um, uh, um, can I hear, can you just, so I, I have a couple questions during that time. The, I know she didn't open up a Google classroom. I understand that and that's fine, but did she give you a syllabus? She did. Oh, she did now. Oh, wait, you mean she did? Oh, she did. Oh, even better. She did open the classroom. Oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, so th that's great. I wasn't sure if because there was we were having technical problems with that. Okay, great, great. Thank you. So my second question is, um, just did did she give you a syllabus, or or put one in Google Class? Yes, she did. Great, great, great. Okay, okay. Um, couple more questions. Again, just making sure because we got a lot of moving parts here. Can you briefly summarize to me, excuse me, what did you, what, did you do any material with her? Did you actually start getting into the physics or was it mostly like, you did? Oh, you did, okay, smart. So she gave you like, like background warm up diagnosis, trig refresher, review. No, that's very smart. There is a lot, there is trig in this class. So good move, okay. And what, um, and you just did it there. Like it's not assigned for home. Was there any homework assigned? After lab, there should be. Okay. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. She said she'll assign it after lab. Like she'll assign it like electronic. Like you'll get word from her like in Google Classroom or whatever. Yes, okay, great, great, great. Okay, and I see there's something else in the direct chat. Though this is great, I'm glad to hear it again. I'm just checking because we've had some stuff going on. So I'm just making sure we're all cool. Um, let me just, hold on. Um, how long do we have to do to finish this assignment? Okay, this assignment of unthingy things, we're going to do it all today in class, and we're going to turn it in by the end of class. Okay, oh, great. Okay, okay. And and I'm distracting you by talking right now, but I'm just trying to make. Sh and I will shut up, and I'll put you in breakout rooms in a minute to do it. But we're gonna. It's not that long. You'll see. We're gonna do it all today, and we're gonna turn it in today. Um, but I had one last question about Professor. Lu um, so the trig. So you actually. You actually refresh yourselves on like signs and cosines on Monday. Like you actually got that 
Yes. Okay, great. And all right, so tell me honestly now, let me ask you, how do you feel about signs and cosines at this point? Whether from, I mean, are you guys, do you feel okay about signs and cosines? You can tell me honestly. Better. Okay. Oh, so she actually, okay, good. Because I'll tell you right now, it's great that she did that. As I say, use for the past. Okay, cool. I mean, she, I'll tell you a little bit about her in a second, but just so you know, um, right. I mean, for a while, I've been doing the 102 lectures in this class. So, you know, so everybody has their own style. I will tell you from experience, yeah, the cosines and the trig really do play a big role in this class. They do. And classically, people come in fairly shaky about that. Like they don't want us to know it, but I'm not saying they come in bad about cosines and sines, but people generally come in not liking sines and cosines and not really feeling that comfortable with them. And a big part of the, and, and they do play a big role in this course, but so that you know, they do play a big role in this course. And it's great that she started you with a refresher. Truth told, don't think of, uh-oh, in order to do this course, I better be super perfect with sines and cosines. Think of it more like if you hang in this course and you do the physics, it actually helps you a lot with sines and cosines, like the two go together. So, I mean, I'm glad you start off that way. But so if you're still a little bit secretly uncomfortable, don't give up hope. Hopefully in a big way, what we're gonna do is practice these things. And in fact, honestly, the very first real lab that you'll do next week or that we got with Professor Lorwin is a lot more sort of practice and making sure we get this. We don't assume that you are totally solid. We assume that we need it. So we want to get you there. Okay. So it was sort of perfect that she did that. Okay. Um, also, just so you know, Professor Lou has been with us for a long time. Um, she used to teach this course a lot. She teaches 101 all this. She's like the queen of 101. She always teaches a million sections. She teaches 203. She teaches 204. I mean, she can teach anything in physics. It just happens that lately I've been the one doing 101. Um, but she's been with us for year teaching physics for years. I mean, I don't know. Well, Leah, for years. Um, she was originally, and she also teaches other places. Um, she's a master's in physics, and she was originally a John Jay student. I mean, she was one of my students a long time ago. Um, she went through the program, the forensic science program, um, and got excited by physics from that, and then and then worked as a lab tech, and, and then worked in the, in the MSRC forever, and then I couldn't help it, and then she got a master's. So so she also knows what it's like to be a John Jay student. Let me put it that way. She knows what you're going through. Um, um, and she's your line of, you know, and, and of course, ultimately your grade in lab will get put together with your grade in lecture. And ultimately she will give you the grade for the whole course. I mean, she is ultimately your, your leader for the course. If anything ever goes wrong or there's an issue, then you come to me. But um, anyway, I'm a big fan of Professor Liu. I'm glad it sounds great that you're off and running with her. So, okay, if there's no more, are there any more, we're going to go into breakout rooms. I really am going to shut up. Are there any questions at all about what's going to happen next week or about logistics or expectations or uh, anything like that? Or, if, sounds like no. Okay, going once, going twice. Okay, so we're going to go into breakout rooms. Okay, so there should be three. Okay. So, so please go to your, so you work together, but you make your own sheet, each of you. Okay, great, great.